Hey, what's happening, guys? Cynic here for another episode of Bringing Back 99 Bots. We're now on episode 5. In the last episode, I actually completed Dicey Deals and I released it as its own POI that you could go and play on. And since then, you guys have played it over 7,000 times. So that's amazing. So thank you, everyone who's played that and everyone who's given feedback on that as well. It was a lot of painting and detail work. So I went over all the roads and pavements, make sure there wasn't grass where it should have been, make sure there was dirt in places that there should be dirt, and just clean things up. Up nicely also added a bunch of foliage so hedges trees rocks etc a gas station a few little detail props here and there i finished off the houses kitted them out with all furniture and i added a slurp shop a clothing store and an ice cream shop as well added in a spawn area with all the weapons consumables uh, hollow chest vault etc and all the devices needed to create the game mechanics and yeah copied that over to a new project made it into its own little island we actually got xp calibrated for that and it went wild but I made an update to it and the XP hasn't recalibrated yet but if you guys keep playing it then when it does recalibrate you'll get all of the XP that you've earned during that time all in one go once it has been calibrated in other news I ran a poll for what I should do for the next POI and 89 of you voted on that with Rapid Raceway being the winner with 69% of the votes so congrats to Orbits X who suggested that in the comments of the last video so I've got started working on Rapid Raceway and I've managed to complete a full track I've done most of the landscaping and we've got a few buildings in there as well plus i've connected the existing road from dicey dills over the bridge into rapid raceway as well the only thing i'm thinking is that it might be just a little bit too big so i might make it like half as big these racetrack pieces i'm using are super wide so i may make them half the size which will also reduce the overall size of the POY because it is crazy big and then i'll have to re-landscape and everything after that but i feel like it makes sense that way and then hopefully if that doesn't take too long maybe i have it complete by this time next week and i'll be able to release a mini POY for that so you guys can jump on and play that as well so i'm trying to get the ball moving pretty fast on this so i'm going to take suggestions now now on this video for what the next POI should be ready for when this one's finished and then I can take another poll so guys comment below what kind of thing you want to see next in the map and guys don't forget if you want to support the making of this map and don't forget to like the videos subscribe to the channel use code CynicTG in the item shop and of course play my games on Fortnite I've also done a few live streams recently which have gone really well I didn't realize so many people would be interested in jumping on and, and playing these games so what I'm doing is I'm playing games with subscribers I'm putting the server region and the map codes up on a screen so people can just join in and i've been kind of just testing the waters with that and uh, doing them sporadically but i'm gonna sit down at some point and come up with a proper schedule for that so make sure you've got notifications on the channel so you can jump in and actually join in with those games when i go live and yeah hopefully this time next week we're gonna have another playable poi and i can't wait because this is gonna be really fun i'm gonna jump off and carry on working on that and until next time get out of here